And we're back again. All right, so uh, big up to Larry again for giving me a decent deal on his razor with the Provido that at some point in the future you may want to buy it back. That's fine. Um, got a good deal. I was going through all dudes are selling these. I remember I had this originally, if anybody's been around long enough to remember, back um, two and a half years plus when I just got past the Anderson. I did build 1.0. Oh, that's the FedEx guy with my cleaning rods, I think. Hold on a second. <coughs> Big man and Janice, holy shit. Scott wasn't kidding. Go on, get. Well, Scott, your, uh, your rod showed up. So this is... Carbon fiber cleaning rod tipped, and these are the 44 inches, so it will accommodate the Creed more. And I think I'm going to have to get a different tip. Uh, the caliber range on these 22 to 26 cal. It'll cover just about everything. We'll have to get another tip. Big fuckers, aren't they? Lightsabers. All right, well, I'll text Scott. Let him know his, his, your rods here, brother. Cool. All right, back to the show. Uh, the razor. Yeah, so anyway, I had this briefly right after the build 1.0. And I transitioned over into the first build I did, think, with the Geisley rail. And I think I had just gotten the ADM, my first real nice kind of set. I have to go back and check because it's all kind of fuzzy. But uh, I ended up buying one of these. We mounted it up. We went to Strickland a couple of times with it. It was cool. Uh, but I was still in that I want to build better, buy better mode. Didn't have a lot of cash. I ended up selling it. Lost my shirt on it. And I always regretted selling it, you know. I was like, I should have held on to that. It's a nice piece of glass. I didn't really work with it. Now, that one was, a, was MOA. This is, is milk. Uh, this is the VMR2 MRAD, so it is at SFP, but it's a 1 to 6, and we'll be doing holdovers with it, but now that I'm really getting more comfortable with scopes in general, and still wrap my head around the mill and how to convert a visual inch to how many clicks and millimeters thing, I'm still working on that. Uh, yeah, so Larry offered to sell me this. I saw a lot of dudes dropping these. For the the value's gone down. Um, I saw dudes selling like new razors with spur mounts or badger mounts for like a grand ship. So I had to go a little lower on my offer for just this, but uh, that's the sign of the times. That's the market, man. So Larry's got a wrap on this. It's pretty cool. We'll check it out, and we'll just rock and roll it. Give it a clean up and. Uh, Take it to the range and go for it. And this one we're going to hold on to. So a little redemption. There's a few guns too that I sold along the way while I was figuring shit out that I may want to buy again. Yeah. I included all the paperwork that it came with. What's that? A little Allen key. And here's the scope. It's got that... Actually, it's a nice match for the uh, for the gun. <laughs> cool. We'll give the lenses a little clean up, a little dusty, but uh, but it'd be good. Let's see, man, that razor glass always impresses. I keep forgetting they're locked, eh? You gotta unlock it. Man! Wicked bright. Okay. So, let me get a little lens cloth. Give that a slight cleanup. Actually, it's not that bad. Let's go ahead and uh, check the angle here. Alright, 
So this I have fastened on hand tight for the moment. This is verified to be T15. Let me find the tiny receptacle. Keep it oriented as, as they came. <clears throat> All right, let's see what she looks like in there, boys. I was right. He's like, I have the wrap cut out perfectly for the rings. Get a gauge. We're going to have to level it, but I just want to get it eyeballed. Do a dry test fit. <laughs> oh man, that's cool. Dude, that's dope. That is dope. Super dope. I kind of like it. Yeah, man. You know? Kind of cool. Where's my headlamp at? I need some more illumination. Did I lose that too? Oh. Dude, that is sick. Let's get a little close up shot of that. I think I'm going to do what Scott advised on these other scoops. I'm going to bag it, get it level, go get my uh, regular level. I have my bubble levels too, and the Arasaka. I don't think I ever figured out how to properly use that. Because you keep pushing it, and then it keeps moving. The, I don't know, man. Jake Berger. That's cool. All right, so I'm going to pause here. Uh, we're going to get it level. We'll get it torqued down. But, Larry, thanks again. Looks awesome. Damn. This one's going to fuck. Nice. Well, it's just a dry fit right now. It's not locked down yet. There's the razor on the Geisley with the Reptilia. That's dope, man. Very nice. Thanks again, Larry. You the man.